Dixie Longgate travels the country throwing good old fashioned Tupperware parties, but they're anything but typical. Dixie's Tupperware Party is a hilarious off Broadway show filled with everything from funny stories to free giveaways, and it's currently playing at the Palace Theater in Waterbury. Dixie Longgate joins me now here on Connecticut Style. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, my darling. How's everything? Not bad. I got to tell you, I was uh, at one of the shows earlier this week you... in the past. It was hilarious. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate that. Lots I have fun. a good time. You know, food storage is not for the faint of heart. It is a fun <laughs> business. So, you know, I've been doing it for a long time, and I'm so happy to be here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Waterbury, Connecticut. It's a great so city. It's hard to sell out. Waterbury, Connecticut. It's just a lot. But everybody's so neighborly. I just love it. Good. So let's talk a little bit about life before Tupperware. Are you married? Do you have kids? Uh, I will. I have, I have three kids. I have, was married three times. Oh. None of them. They didn't work out, huh? No. Well, they all died oh. mysteriously, which is a shame. <laughs> um, but you know what? But I'm, I went through my grieving process, and mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't indicted in any of their murders, so that's really nice. That's you nice know, to that, hear. Well, good. I, just because you're holding the ex doesn't mean you've used it. That was proven in the court of law. Oh. So it was a nice thing. But I have three kids, and they are so sweet. Not from any of those husbands, but I have three kids, and they are just <laughs> as sweet as pie. And they're back in Mobile in the trailer right now. Just okay. Oh, wait for you to get home. You know, well, my oldest is 16, Winona, and she takes good care of the rest of them, and just you know, she's good. I'm teaching her all the good things, trying to be what a parent should be. Out of the house and teaching her how to drink. It's, it's all right. <laughs> um, well, Dixie, how'd you get started with Tupperware? I, you know, it was um, about uh, I got out of prison, and part of the conditions of my parole, my my um, I was I, I needed a job to get my kids back, and my okay. parole officer, she's this adorable lesbian. She said, um, you know, you need something. I didn't want to, you know, get them back because I was like freedom. They're like here, kids. I'm like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and um, so I, but so she said you should do something where you can make money and keep your own schedule and something where the restraint an order won't get in the way. So sure. I said, okay, and she suggested Tupperware. And at first I thought, you know, that's something that it's old and for grandmamas and everything. But I, I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I went to my first Tupperware party mm -hmm. and I had so much fun and the host was real nice and I got free drinks. I said, that is it. I'm <laughs> you were and hooked, huh, after that? After that I was hooked. And then I went to the, I did it for a little while and it sort of grew. And then I went to the Jubilee, the big Tupperware convention. Mm -hmm. I saw everybody having so much fun, and there was like all these people getting up on stage and getting recognized for all the work they did. And I uh -huh. thought, this is real fun and motivating and empowering. I'm sure. going to stick with this. Yeah. And 11 years later, I'm still doing it, and I love it. And the number one Tupperware uh, salesperson it's in the crazy. country. That's pretty impressive. I do what I can. You know, I, I help people with their food storage needs because it's very important. You know, sure. <laughs> it's, the, it's been around forever, and you might once you have it for life. It's got a lifetime warranty. It's the best crap out there. So, of course, <laughs> why wouldn't you want it? So, I'm telling people about it everywhere I go. All right. Let's Let's take a look at some video. Tell us about the show. It's really a fun night out. It, oh, you're sweet. It is, you know, it's a tip or party on stage, <laughs> but, you know, it's also, it's a show and it's got, you know, it's talking about, um, you know, sort of a personal empowerment and, and finding that, that voice in yourself to, to take charge and do something. You know, the Tupperware ladies had always been these ladies that sort of, uh, when Tupperware started, they had been the Rosie the Riveters and they had been sure. helping with the war effort and then they were shoved back in the kitchen. And so it, Tupperware was a way for them to sort of take charge and make money and be a bigger member of their community and, okay. and stuff. And so I love that legacy of it. And so I sort of put that in the in the show, talking about all the great things and how it's helped people. And look at me. That was you at the Jubilee. Right? I, it was I, when I got up and got my, got my <laughs> ribbon and everything. Um, but it's, I just, it, you know, it's just an amazing thing. It's such a great product and it's such an amazing opera. Like the whole t legacy of Tupperware and the Brownie Wise, the woman who created the Tupperware party, it just mm -hmm. all makes me, it's, it makes me happy and sure. giddy. So I love telling people about Let's it. Let's talk about some of these products. Oh, just Because you have some alternative uses. Let's well, be honest. Well, you know, I didn't know for about two years that Tupperware was supposed to be used in the kitchen. I thought it was like, <laughs> stuff with a bedroom. My reverend comes in, he goes, What's that under the bed? And I'm like, Why are you in the bedroom? It's not Thursday or whatever, and so um, you know. But it's it's. Yeah, I t took my favorite pieces and I took them inside the kitchen. I was like, you can use that. That's a colander. <laughs> Who knew that? You know. But it's some of the best things around, that, and just little things. Everybody's had that. I had that. Everybody had the old Chapo toy, and most people don't realize it's Tupperware. It's got the little shapes in it, and the kids play with it, and mm -hmm. it's great for if you're drinking and you don't know, can I drive? Try to put the shapes in the holes, and then if you can, then you're good to drive. And if not, you're staying on the couch. <laughs> Your pants might end up somewhere, but you're staying on the couch. You know, great stuff. I mean, please, who didn't? These things are amazing. You was talking about these because you saw them in the program. Yeah, they you, they change sizes. They, cha they can flatten out down. They're called flat outs, and they flatten down to nothing. That's great. So you can storm like that, or if you're like, hey, you know, let's say you're going out to the um, uh, the afternoon. I'm going to go 
go to that curry place and then you go put that leftovers in here and put the steel on because if you're going to take them home in that thing it's there like you go. styrofoam and it's in your car and then oh, you pick stink. up somebody on the road like oh lord just what you have for dinner <laughs> you know this way you don't got no problem with that i love them so smart and the, the thing is at the party you could actually buy all the tupperware you see you can at the end like everybody gets a uh, you know a catalog in an order for me at the end i go out and then if, if you want to come up and you can get some tupperware you can if you don't want to you don't have to but i you know why i'd be so unneighborly of me to show you all the great <laughs> crap and then not prevent you the opportunity to get it i sure. love it just make jesus cry <laughs> it, it probably would it dixie probably. all right let's put the information up on the screen dixie's tupperware party the final performances at the palace theater in waterbury happening tonight you have two shows you had an extra show at on saturday extra two o'clock on saturday all right then saturday night and sunday and sunday uh, for tickets go to palace theater ct.org or you can easily call the number 203-346-2000 it really is a great night out dixie thanks so much for being here and bringing your products thank you for having me darling <laughs> all right up next taylor greenberg puts on a healthy twist to lasagna when style returns don't go anywhere